Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and I got two left for my Consequences film, and this second last one we're going to review is from 2011, and it's New Year's Eve. Yes, the multi-story rom-com about this multi-thread uh, stories of these various characters that happens on New Year's Eve. Kind of a loose sequel to Valentine's Day in, in that we have Ashton Kutcher in most of them. Now, <laughs> there's a number of stories going on, so I'm not really going to summarize every single one. I'm just going to say it is amazing they got so many Academy-nominated and award-winning actors and actresses in this film film and do not use them to their full potential or any potential at all. Oh, this film, it was so sad because I liked a lot of these people in here, and it was pretty much anyone who didn't have a job in Hollywood was in this film. He had Michelle Pfeiffer, Zac Efron, Robert De Niro, Halle Berry, Carrie Elway, Alyssa Milano, Sophia Varga, uh, you got John Bon Jovi in here, Katherine Heigl, you got uh, just <laughs> the, the on and on. Uh, Leah Michelle's in here, you've got uh, James Belushi in here, you get, you, you get the point. Sarah Jessica Parker's in here, I mean, the list goes on and on. For this year, they like hired half of Hollywood for this film, and unfortunately, most of the stories and the characters they wrote for these for these fantastic actors just didn't they weren't you didn't really care about most of them. I'm sorry, there, there's only one story in here. I mean, because there's multiple storylines going on. You get uh, the the John Bon Jovi, who's the rocker, who's coming back. And, and, you know, visiting uh, an old flame of his, and there's that conflict there. You, you've got uh, a, a lady who just, uh, kind of a mousy woman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, who lost her job. And uh, she she has this New Year's resolution list that she gets help to try to fulfill with the help of Paul, played by Zac Efron. Uh, you know, you get Holly Berry in there playing this nurse working New Year's Eve. You got Hilary Swank in here playing the coordinator for the ball dropping in Madison. The, the big ball, you know, dropping uh, in New your uh, Times Square and things going awry there. Really, the main actors in here, I mean, they're doing okay with the story they have. It's just that these characters, really, you don't really care about or did I really find entertaining. Now, that's not to say I didn't care for all the little stories going on. In fact, I probably would have enjoyed just a short film, and this is going to surprise you, but with the Michelle Pfeiffer and Zac Efron story, the one about uh, New Year's revol resolutions and uh, Zac Efron's uh, carrier a New York carrier, a trans messenger guy, you know, guy who transports stuff with by his bike in that, uh, helping uh, this woman, Ingrid, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, fulfill her res New Year's resolution list. I loved that story. I could have just watched that story. That story I found very touching and entertaining in here. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of this, not so much. I mean, the Leah Michelle Ashton Kutcher storyline they had really felt just forced and you know while you do get to see Leah Michelle sing some more you could see it done better in Glee especially playing a different character uh, playing a better character in Glee than in this one uh, you know so just in general it was just a really lot of waste of a lot of great talent here on a script that tried I think to do almost too much okay so but that's just my personal opinion I want to hear what you think about New Year's Eve I know there's some people down, you know, uh, on the fence about this, whether or not it was good or bad. I just think uh, they could have cut back on the cast and focused on a few less stories and it would have been better. I mean, Robert De Niro's in here. What, what are you thinking, man? You know, he really, his character was just kind of there. And while he does put in an emotional performance, uh, it really doesn't make up for most of the rest of this film. Film. So I wouldn't recommend New Year's Eve uh, for any uh, folks out there. Uh, you know, if you're big fans of them, see their other films that they're better in. If you really are looking for a good multi-story anthology film, I will recommend Love Actually over this. Uh, while there was the one story in there between Michelle Pfeiffer and Zac Efron's character, on the whole, this film just really falls flat. Uh, one and a half stubs again on this, and mostly for that. Uh, performance by Zach and Michelle, who actually, Zach actually does fairly well in the roles he's in. I just, many of the characters in here, and I think it was just too much you couldn't get into. While some of the sub-characters were entertaining, like Sofia Varga's character, and a few others, the main storylines really just can't hold your interest, and in the end, New Year's Eve just falls flat, 
and you're hoping the ball never drops uh, because they truly dropped the ball in all this talent and potential. And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.